Hello guys, it's me again. So now we have defeated Plantera and we can get many uh, life fruits as we can. That means we can utilize this now to make the life increasing item which increases my maximum health by 25 so it's five life fruits then blood orbs and five of each trio bosses drops so let's gather the materials five of these Uh, not this wait soul of right soul of sight soul of might okay now then the life fruits I can make them uh, with this planting mush and those living shards now we can create the wait what tool does it need a mithril anvil hmm we have all the ingredients but where is that am I missing something Oh right, the blood orb. The blood orb. We need ten blood orbs. Right. Okay, now we have have five hundred. Five hundred and fifty. Oh, yeah, I was using this zerg potion so now the uh, spawn rates are boosted by a really big amount so we have 525 health okay. what's the other one let's see what is the other one five trapper bulb five life alloy ten living shard so we need to beat another plantera and we need to make life alloys mm, I think we need the uh, abyss bars then the snow bars the cryo bars and perennial ores I think the perennial ores should have spawned by now let's see should be detected soon now I don't think the Karenia or spawn, so that means we need to fight the golem first. Yeah, I think we are strong enough to fight the golem now. This the golem is fairly easy to fight. So this, and this. This back inside with two plasma two, and now let's go to. Are uh, we going to turn off the? Where is the Zerg potion buff? I don't see the Zerg potion buff. Let's go to the jungle. We are going to the temple. I made a falling shortcut here. 
fall down. Did I bring any food? I don't think so. Oh, we do actually. This is my digging hole. Let's get this. summons the eclipse so we can summon the eclipse event anytime we want Ooh, the traps deal so much damage thankfully we have the anchor shield so there's no nasty debuffs that applied to us now to be able to jump upward so we make our arena a little bit higher like this let's build our campfire place it here and we're going to beat him with this bow let's summon the pygmies Thank you. 
yeah, this is the way. has befallen the jungle so that means the the uh, perennial ores have spawned in here let's see what we got from the treasure bag oh we got a legendary pixel capable of mining scoria ores Okay, so in the abyss. So now we can make life alloys and increase our maximum health by 25 more. Let's open this up. Got staff of earth. That's magic. Heat ray also magic. Agile stinger. Hmm. Shoots an explosive bolt. Huh. What's the ammo? Possess a hatchet. So this is a throwing weapon. Keen golem fist. So this is best used lapis in a close range. Now the slime has spawned too to get out to give us perennial ores. I think I might need to beat the golem a couple more times, so I'm going to do that now. So I defeated the golem one more time and I think we have enough beetle husks. Now we can craft the beetle shell armor, beetle leggings, and the beetle helmet. An upgraded version of the turtle shell armors. Now we have more defense. Put that inside. Let's make the perennial horse, perennial bars. 
Now we can make the life alloy. Yeah, we need some cryonic bars and scoria bars. Let's put this here first. Do we have the cryonic bars? No, not yet. Go and hunt for the perennial bar. Uh, I mean, the cryonic bars and scoria bars. Ah. The Omni Science Potion. Mimic here. Godly Frost Brand shoots an icy bolt. Slow speed. So our true knight's age is better. for now. 146. This time we're going to the abyss. To find some scoria. Ocean. Let's go down to the abyss. Bring the glow sticks. to want to bring some glow sticks and the key do I have the key yes we have the shadow key and we need to bring some glow sticks okay, let's go 
go back to the beast. Material. Death's charm. Okay. There's another treasure. Ball of Fugu. Mm, wait a second. So the fish drops pores for now. Anurian magic item. Lion fish, that's a rogue weapon. Herring stuff. Summon stuff. Ah. Any other treasure? Drain. Ah. So we can summon the rain as we please now. Quick iron boots allows to sink faster in the grid. So you spend too much time in the abyss. Let's put all of that inside stash. Let's see what we can make out of this void stones. Still doesn't know where Luminil is from. Yeah, Luminil. Don't know where that is from. Let's put this inside for now. 
Okay, let's make some life buffs. Life alloys. Cryonic bars, then scoria bars. Okay. Now we can make this life alloys. Now the teal mushroom. Trap bulb, life fruit, life alloy, and living shard. So we need more living shards, need more life fruits, trap bulb. Where is my trap bulbs? This is okay. So, what else do we need? Yeah, I guess we need to beat planter once more, so I'm going to do that. Wait a sec. So I have defeated the planter once more. Now we have enough materials to make the miracle fruit. Now we have 720 health with bobs. Materials aside again. Let's see what can we make from the life alloys. Seraph tracers. So that needs luminate bars. Plus two max minions. Mm, that's something I would want to want to use. Hyperius bullets, hardcore bullets. All right. I think we're going to. Now uh, what are we gonna do? I think we're going to end this episode here and continue on the next episode so yeah I'm gonna do that